you asked me a few minutes ago who would be my England fly half. And oh. I would I would pick George Ford over Marcus. And if Ford is playing and he's in that error. fly half role, error. error. Well, you, can tell me, you can tell me how big that error is in a minute. But if he is playing and he's in that fly half role, then I think naturally he becomes a vice captain because it's a, an absolute out and out leadership role, isn't it? I, I, to be honest, absolutely agree with that point. Couldn't agree yeah. with that point more. If he if he's on the pitch, he should be a vice captain. I agree, but no, he's not going to be on the pitch. I, 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 sorry, oh, okay. let let me correct myself. He will be. Borthwick will pick him, but I don't think Borthwick should. And so you, the reason you want a bit of free go on, go on. You're about to explain why before I ask you. Well no, well you free play. Is that what you're gonna say? You you want a free flowing, broken field runner, little bit of magic rather than the sort of more formulaic game, yeah? I think I think we have yeah, we have two points here. Uh and I also think the two points I make go against what will happen because I think Borthwick won't mm-hmm. want the two things I'm suggesting. I think we should build for the future, and I think Marcus is the future fly half because Ford and Farrell are about the same age. When Ford, uh, when Farrell does re- retire or if he doesn't return, I think it's the same time as Ford will be doing the same. Yeah. Um, so I think we have to kind of look and begin to build. And if we're going to build, we should build now for the next four years. And the next four years is Marcus. And I feel that Borthwick's pretty committed to Stuart at the fly heart, a uh, fullback. And I feel yep. from that, he also will probably be the likely, the, the first choice in the next four years for Australia. We need to put our best foot forward and we need to think for the future. We need to not think about the results now. We need to think about the team we want to be in four years' time. And I think that's with Marcus. And I think we need to start okay. building around that style of play. And again, I don't think Borthwick will because he's very formulaic, but I think we need a bit of a fireball. And I think the other thing is Marcus is very, very hungry. The tenacity he had against Fiji, I think it's something we need to implement in our team. We need formulaic, but we need yeah. tenacity. And the yeah. flip and, side and point... And Care both bought that, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. They yeah. were ferocious. They, they, they just, they just yeah. both of them, weren't they? Little... Little Jack Russell's the whole game. Yeah, yeah, he were. So the flip point Your flip is, point. yeah, I do, I love Ford. I I absolutely love Ford. I think he is like English fly half royalty. I think he is pure class traditionist fly half. Right? Mm-hmm. Why has he never got in the squad? Because Farrell's always been better. Because Farrell's that bit better. That, and because that's not the game anymore. You can mm-hmm. connect the dots all you want, but that's not the way the game is played anymore. And I want it to be, and I think it, we would be really beautiful if it did, but when you're playing against the best, somewhere like South Africa, New Zealand, France, um, Ireland, sorry, sorry, Ireland, uh, their games are so dynamic, their games are so layered, their games are so free moving, and th- your role is only your role within its position, but it's not within it, your responsibility. Oh, I didn't understand that. Go for that again. Let's so, again. if you're a fly half, you're uh, yeah. uh, or a, fl- a flanker, your position is a flanker, but then your p- yeah. responsibilities on the pitch aren't just to be a flanker. You're so diverse now that you've got to get in the back line. I you've got to be moving yeah. out. You've got to be calling the backs to forwards. You, everyone's so textured in their movements. Mm-hmm. Yeah, makes I sense. I feel yeah. Ford is so solid at what he does, but he isn't as textured and as layered. And as he, he isn't going to be doing the massive tackles like Faz is. He isn't going to be no. the nippy fly half uh, that Smith is. And I just feel that he hasn't got into any England squad net before. I don't think he should be doing it now. And I don't think he will. I feel... Interesting. I, I just feel it's not that I don't think he's quite a good enough player. Like I said, I think in 80% of other international countries, he would get first fly half. He is mm-hmm. an amazing player. But we need to start thinking more long term. And I think that is Smith. And I think we have to mould our game to Smith and we have to mould Smith to our game. Because in a minute, he is the fireball because he's kind of just 
there with talent and we just kind of throw him in the dog pen and see how he does.